The colors are so crazy. It's amazing. Hey everybody, it's my friend Tanya here to try this out. Tanya. Tanya's a rock star, if you didn't know, we'll link all that below. Yeah, he's a rock star. I had to see this mushroom magic in real life. No, you've never eaten meat. I've never eaten meat. I got the crispiest part. This is the best part. Uh oh. Oh my god. They're freezing. Frank, it's really hot. Frank, <laughs> he's like, char on the outside. Isn't though. that amazing? Oh my god. I get it, like, visual. The and... texture, that mouthfeel, even the flavor. powder, onion powder, and this is just to flavor and season the steaks. Garlic powder, or garlic granulated. And then I have a blend here, it's like a sage and onion mix. I add a little bit of boiling water and that will activate the spices and get them to bloom so the flavor comes out. Now it's too pink to be bloody, so what I'll add is soy sauce, and that adds salt as well as yeah, umami and it makes it more of the dark red color. So now we need more water we have quite a bit of these. We've got to have fat, right? Animal products have fat in them, so we're going to replicate them. And we're just making the marinade. God, it looks like brains. I'm just soaking them up, because in order to get that red in the middle, which is what I try to do these days. But look at all the liquid's gone. Look at that. Looks like brains. It totally does. In a way, it's kind of freaky, but it's awesome. What I've found is that when light hits them, they'll oxidize, so they'll start to turn brown because of that beetroot. Just gonna get this hot. A little bit of oil, the salt, because this is full of liquid. Try to squeeze some of it out, and some of it will come in the pan. I let them get used to the pan here. So the reason why I do the pan on the pan is, and I go slow first, because I want it to sear first. Mm -hmm. That really hot pan sears them. And I want that caramelized exterior to happen, because as soon as I start putting on this, it's like a sponge. It's gonna start releasing the liquid, and then it's gonna counteract that searing, and it's gonna steam them. So I want that brown caramelized golden color first. And I'll slowly let this happen, and it'll press it a little bit, and more liquor will come up, and I have to open the door, because we'll have a fire. The more you press, you can hear that when the oil meets the water, that's when the flame will start coming up, and that's where I have to be careful. No. The fire. And you'll, you'll hear him start to talk and gurgle, and. You listen to it. It's, it's such Become a... Become one with the shrew. It's, it's a really experiential cooking method. You really get involved with the food. So lion's mane are really good for your brain, right? Super good for your brain. They use it to treat dementia and Alzheimer's. That's why you're wicked smart. Wicked. There you go. I see. Wicked. That's your next book. Well, you'll be able to do this at home. Oh my god. Now I'll slowly start putting pressure because the more liquid that combines with that oil is more likely to flare up. So now we'll check. Can you see that? There they are! The same as the mushrooms. Same with this side, I'll let it sit for a second before I start pressing it. There it is, folks! I can't do it. Alright, so we're gonna press. Look at how much liquid comes out of there. Wow! Now is where we create the texture, because I want that super dense texture, like steak. And you can play with it where we can do like a prime rib if I want it super thick, or if we want a sirloin semi-thick, or a flank steak, or a flat iron. It just depends. I'll let that cook off a little bit. Because it's just cooking in its own juices now. And then the opposite of meat is you want to press these because mushrooms you can beat the hell out of. It just creates a better mouthfeel and texture that I'm looking for. So this is a potato wellington. And we're going to have that to go with it. Add a little bit of salt now to the top, a little bit of black pepper. So today we're gonna give you the whole full treatment. I put up some smoked chips in here just for the added flavor. Could add a little bit of red wine next time, but. It's amazing though, like you're watching you do it and the flavor, the way they soak up the flavor. 
I actually just... thought you'd have to soak them for a lot longer to oh, no. like marinate them. Just like a sirloin, when I used to cook meat, there's different donenesses. Like this is more firm in the middle and texture, and then you have this like a more of a fatty. So it's more like a. So lime. someone asked you for like a rare. It's more, yeah. It's more. <laughs> this is more like a prime ribish, like super fatty and like loose texture, and this would be more like a sirloin. <laughs> I'm going straight for like a charred corner. The charred are the best. Oh my gosh, it's pretty fucking cool. I'm sorry, I just get excited about it. Okay, ready? Yeah, no, I've been watching you do this on the internet for a long time. I can't believe it's <laughs> <laughs> pretty freaking neat, huh? Me or friends, what, what do they? They love it. Even if you're not vegan, this is like super innovation. You know, I have a documentary coming out soon that we've been working on. A changing a chick farm to a mushroom farm. When I worked at Tesco, they introduced me to them and one of the projects I really wanted to do. I'm just gonna pile it on here. Barbecue beans, fresh, not from can. All right. All right. People are gonna wanna see it. It's really freaking amazing. I mean, it's just, it's fucking amazing. Divinity in shrooms. Not too shabby. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you. Incredible. Oh my god. Alright, back in a bit.